Correct. So we can say hi to Indah Sartika Sari, Research and Development Manager at Borneo Nature Foundation. Good There morning, Indah. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I hope you're well too. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, Indah. Thank, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. So Indah, I, I remember because um, I think most of us are familiar, especially most of us interacting with uh, digital um, devices. I've seen pictures mm -hmm. of Kalimantan or Borneo, you know, like from period to period. Mm -hmm. And the thing that we notice is that it's become less green the more we move forward. So what is the current condition of the forest in Borneo or Kalimantan? Yeah. Well, first, thank you for having me. It's a, such a pleasure to be here and then tell about telling you guys all about, about Borneo. First of all, Borneo is the third largest island in the world. Mm. Um, and it has three countries in it, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei Darussalam. Mm. So since uh, 1970s, late 60s, there are massive uh, exploitation, uh, land degradations that are happening in, in Borneo, mm. where uh, we used to have 70% of forest cover. Now, after four decades, we decreased 30%. So it's now it's just we only have 50% left mm -hmm. of forest cover. It is uh, devastating uh, and sad, but I don't want to tell you about sad stories <laughs> this morning as well. <laughs> we still have those 50% of forest that we can protect together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember a couple of days ago, I just went uh, out from our field and we still hear the beauty um, morning, the bird singing and the gibbon singing. So <laughs> mm -hmm. our forest, it's sad, but we still have hope to, to save them. Absolutely. You know what? Um, I believe yeah. that the future of Borneo will certainly have, will be taken care of. Why? Because I was at IKN um, earlier this year in March and uh, we went to the nursery that is being, you know, being that is, uh, we went to the nursery that is now being prepared for uh, to make the new capital city a very green city. Now, other than having little nurseries, what type of activities can help conserve the forest, especially with uh, what you are doing in the Borneo Ni Nature Foundation? Yeah, thank you for the questions. Um, a little bit introduction with Borneo Nature Foundation. We are a non-profit organization mm -hmm. that have been working in the uh, in, in Borneo, in Kalimantan, for the last 20 years, focusing on research and conservation. We have five uh, big programs that we're doing currently. First one is saving the rainforest, both through the reforestation, that's including the nursery mm -hmm. and habitat protection. Mm -hmm. um, and also we are involving the community and the local stakeholder as well to um, protect the forest and involving the community in forest patrol and mm. firefighting and uh, fire prevention. The second one, we have our big program that been running since 1999, which is a scientific research focusing on uh, survey the biodiversity, ecology, mm. primates, and we also have a camera traps program. Mm. And uh, now the newest one, the, the drone program to mapping the, the forest area. So yeah, we've been uh, also doing community development closely, working closely, like I said, with the, with the community in uh, social forestry and, and assist them to have sustainable forest management. When you talk about the community, do you mean the Dayak people or? Yeah, yeah. So in Indonesia, the majority of um, the, uh, sorry, the, in Borneo, the, yeah. the, major, the majority of the people is Dayak, mm -hmm. but we also have um, other ethnic groups mm -hmm. and we have trans people as well. We have Malay, so varied, but yeah, we are, work work, work um, 
the majority of the AI people. I, the other programs that we are doing also the environment education. Mm -hmm. So we also inviting students, young people to come to see our forest and just to see, look, oh, they have this in their own hometown, like homeland. Mm. Yeah. yeah, because it's very important. And then we to... also have the last one. Yes, to to to. Con... Sorry, the last one is the outreach. Yes. Go on, go campaign. on, India. Yeah, yeah. The last one is the outreach, and uh, we're doing campaigns uh, to reach people worldwide as well. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. and and one of the things that that also caught my attention, especially, is um, inviting all these students and young people to actually have a look at the forest because when you touch the hearts of these young people, that's the beginning of the conservation itself, isn't it? When they are able to relate, yeah. they, they are able to enjoy, mm -hmm. uh, and then they fall in love with the forest, and then, they'll, you know, when you talk about conservation, they'll understand, it's like, oh yeah, it's also our job to actually help the conservation. And you also mentioned a little bit about the givens there. Um, you know, I've, I've, I think I've only been, I've never, hang on, I've been to Kalimantan, but definitely not uh, to the forest, and I would love to. Could mm -hmm. you please p uh, picture us, um, paint us a picture of the kind of primates that you find in Borneo, other than gibbons, of course, that you've mentioned earlier. <laughs> right. Yeah. So in Borneo Island, we have 13 species. Mm. That's we have the great apes, the orangutan. Yeah. Wow. The yeah, that's the picture. Mm. <laughs> the orangutan, the gibbons. We also have. Um, yeah, a lot of species, red langurs, proboscis monkeys. In Borneo Nature Foundation um, itself, we have three um, species of primates that we protect, which is orangutan, uh, red langurs, and the gibbons. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing. Like mm -hmm. we are doing um, survey mm. to see their behavior, mm -hmm. their food, their um, their home range and the more we see them the more <laughs> the more we like encounter them the more we are like amazed like how amazing mm. <laughs> these creatures you know mm. oh. so yeah but apart from that not only primates we have certain uh primates but we also have lots of lots of uh, other wildlife so Indonesia is the third uh, most diversity in the world after Brazil and Colombia. So mm -hmm. like we are so rich with biodiversity and, and wildlife and everything is here and yeah. Well, I can certainly feel the passion for you because I, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued <laughs> to actually fly there because the last time I flew there, I flew there for work and I did not see a single primate because that area was an industrial forest that right. is being rehabilitated. Right. But um, I really want to go there for a holiday and, and see the real rich beauty that there is. Mm. But um, can you talk to us, mm -hmm. you've mentioned that there are three species that are considered uh, protected and of course endangered. In your opinion, uh, how has the law enforcement been in wildlife uh, conservation, especially implementing it in Borneo and in Indonesia? Well, the law, in my opinion, I mm. think uh, we are keep making uh, progress and try to do a better work. Um, even though the law enforcement is, is not really like our expertise, but we are working uh, closely, uh, like I said, with the local stakeholder to help and report uh, whatever we found in in the forest and make that to uh, like a make decisions. So what's the best way to conserve? What's the best uh, conservation action plan that we have to conduct in in those areas. Mm. And also in celebrating National yeah. Nature Conservation Day, uh, what's your advice for us, the society, wherever that is, you know, it's not only in Borneo, but also like all over Indonesia, to help conserve our environment? I think everyone can do mm -hmm. a little, Thing yes. from their home you know you don't have to go to the forest for example to protect the wildlife it, of course it is uh, it is good but you can start with like donate or choose your products because um, 
there are factors that cause the species declining in the yes. wild. Yes. One of them, the main major problem is the habitat destruction. Yeah. And this habitat destruction is caused by uh, the land changing or the replacement of the forest area, degradation and illegal logging. And all of this problem, it's because there are demands in the society. So yes. start from your home, yeah, choose wisely your products, for example, and then like, live as sustainable as you can. And then if you can do a volunteer, then yeah, do volunteer or just, uh, mm. just donate. Or you could also spread the awareness how important the wild because without the biodiversity, we couldn't survive as well. Absolutely. The forest, uh, have like the forest give up this give us oxygen mm -hmm. for us to breathe that's yes. like the most basic thing that human needs so yeah that's that's some of these examples is that is so also, true I, um, yes yes in that yeah sorry i mentioned the habitat destruction but also one of the uh cause that make the, the the species declining also hunting that leads to illegal wildlife trade yeah illegal wildlife trade i have to uh, say this because it's is nowadays it's in indonesia it's it's a quite i don't know with the tiktok and social media things it's it's easy to spread the fake or the wrong news about yeah. like keeping animal Keeping wildlife as a pet is a yes. cute thing, which is very yeah. not true and very yeah. wrong. Mm. Like if you love those animals, then you have to make them happy in their own habitat. Oh, nicely so. said. Completely agree. And yeah. I completely agree with you about, you know, us having the forest because sometimes we forget that it's like the oxygen actually comes from from having a lot of green in the surfaces. Otherwise, we're going to die. Because, you know, like, yeah. for example, when we're talking about climate change, it's actually the world, the earth will keep evolving. Mm -hmm. It will evolve into an environment that is probably not fit for us anymore. So we will extinct, but the earth will still be there. Yep. And this is something that we need to yep. realize because if we want to keep living on this beautiful earth, we need to change the way we live. That's it. Well, thank you so much, exactly. uh, Inda Sartikasari, yeah. and um, uh, the, the development manager of Borneo Nature Foundation. Oh, one more question. If uh, people want to donate and help uh, this cause, how, how, how can they do that? So you can uh, go to our website, mm. we're at borneonaturefoundation.org, mm -hmm. and yeah, you can, you can see our social me media as well at Borneo Nature Foundation. Great, sounds nice. good. So Thank you, Inda, for your time this morning. <laughs> Happy National Conservation Day and good luck with everybody and everything that you do. Happy National Conservation Day. Thank you so much for having me. Thank Bye. you, Inda. Bye. Bye, have a lovely day.